Disney's live action version of Lilo and Stitch is moving forward and they even filled the role of Lilo. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about the Aristocats. There's a live action version of that coming as well. I have a love-hate relationship with this entire video. I'm going to explain that, but boy, let's talk about Lilo and Stitch first. I love this movie. Growing up, this movie was one of my favorite Disney movies. That little blue furball is hilarious. He's destructive, he's protective, he is caring, he is absolutely everything under the sun wrapped up in one blue furball. Now, Lilo, this poor girl, is just traumatized from everything. She comes from a broken home, she's picked on at school, she doesn't have any friends, but she loves hula dancing and she loves Stitch. That's the biggest thing here is their friendship and the dynamic between the two of them makes such a great movie. It's funny, it's wholesome, and now we get the live action version and I don't know how to feel about it because I don't like Disney's live action versions. I just don't. Nothing that they've come out with, with the exception of one or two movies in a live action has ever panned out to be good. But that being said, I'm probably going to watch this only because I love the original so much. The way they're going to do it is what concerns me. I'm hoping that Stitch looks kind of like Sonic does in their movies. The way Sonic and Tails look, that CGI, I hope that's what we're going to get with Stitch. Now, as far as Lilo is concerned, she has been casted already. And instead of butchering this poor girl's name, I am horrible with pronunciations, as you well know if you've been here before. So I'm going to put her name up on the screen and let you pronounce it in any way, shape, or form you wish. But this girl is going to be playing Lilo. And I think she has the look. This is what I would imagine a live action Lilo to be. Now, this girl will be making her acting debut in this film. She has been in Little Miss Kona Coffee pageants. And she has experience as a Tahitian dancer. So that'll work out great for her in this movie. Because we all know Lilo is big into hula dancing. So this dancing background is going to work out great. That is a major key component to her character. And just having that dancing experience is going to be vital. Now I'm reading a lot of this off the Collider website. And it does say that this remake will be written by Chris Bright. Who is making his feature writing debut with this film. So a lot of debuts here between the actors and the writer. But he has recently gained widespread acclaim for Marshall the Shell with shoes on. Uh, I think that's a short film. I'm not 100% sure, but apparently it's doing well with whatever it is. And he is going to be replacing John M. Chu, who was originally attached to this project back in 2020. I don't know why he stepped down or maybe he was fired, whatever the situation may be. I know Disney's been having a lot of issues um, behind the scenes. So whatever reason that Chris Bright is now taking over, hopefully he does pretty good. But to be completely honest with all these new people, I'm not having a lot of high hopes for this movie already. But I am still interested only because I like the original and I'm definitely not expecting to like it as much as the original. I'm just hoping not to hate it. Now the other live action movie that we're getting is the Aristocats and that's going to be a live action hybrid movie. Now that's interesting because not only is it just going to be live action, but with it being a hybrid adaptation, it makes me think Roger Rabbit. Yeah, how they had part cartoon, part live action people, and there was that weird mesh together, or maybe Space Jam, Michael Jordan, cartoon, Looney Tunes, that kind of thing. I don't know if that's an accurate depiction of what this is going to be, but that's the first thing I think about when I hear hybrid. So... This is actually going to be made by Amar Thompson, but this will also, according to Deadline, be his feature film directing debut. So we're getting a lot of first timers for upcoming Disney movies. Now, it does say that Thompson is also executive producing and overseeing music for the film as well. That's he's got his hands in this movie a lot. And I'm wondering if it's going to be too much like. You have your hands in too many pots at one time. Are you going to be able to micromanage the entire thing? Uh, it's just, 
I wonder about that. That's kind of why you delegate different people for different areas, but whatever. Um, it says the script is going to be written by Will Cluck and Keith Bunnan. I'll be honest, I'm not too familiar with either one of them. But Aristocats, again, this was an okay for me anyway. Never really a big Aristocats fan. But I just, I hear live action hybrid especially. I, I'm not really excited about this. If you are excited about this, or if you're excited about Lilo and Stitch, let us all know down in the comments. What do you think of any of this stuff? Drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.